Hey, what's up guys? I cannot wait to share with you how I use a curl wand. This is something that I've been meaning to do for a while, but life gets in the way sometimes. <laughs> My name is Ambrosia Carey, for those of you who don't know me, and I am a hairstylist, salon owner, and educator in the Portland, Oregon area. And I really love to share with you time-saving tips how to strategize with your business in a creative format and hopefully give you some entertainment along the way. I'm just gonna simply share with you how I do things and I'm even gonna speed things up half of my head and the other half of my head, I'm gonna do it real time and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm doing, how I'm doing it and why I'm doing it. Okay, let's go. It's called soft lacquer heat styling spray. I am not selling it. This one I like it because it's almost like starching your clothes before you iron it. Now for me because I have long hair I can simply just divide my hair in half, flip it over. Not like that. Not like that either. Aha! I'm going to take half of my hair and I'm going to clip it out of the way. That way I can work on the bottom half of my head first and then go into the top half. So all I'm doing is taking my fingernail and I am dividing a section out in the very back of the head. Hold my wand straight up in the air with the handle facing upward and I'm just gonna wrap my hair around the wand and as I'm holding onto the hair, it's twisting around the wand. Let's get that cord out of the way. It actually makes a ribbon instead so it becomes a flat ribbon. Instead of the curl doing this, the curl does this. So it becomes an S-shaped wave. So what's nice about it is that it's a lot more forgiving on little boo-boos. You can make bigger sections out of it. It can be less time consuming. It's a little bit more user friendly than a regular curling iron if you're not used to using one. You do have to be a little acrobatic, so that is the downside. <laughs> Some people like to hold it upright this way, which there's nothing wrong with that. On the bottom, it's a lot easier for me when I wrap it around. And notice how my hair is twisting around the wand as I'm wrapping it. So this is what causes that coil-like shape. But what I love about it is the wear and tear of it. When I sleep on it, the next day I feel like it looks really glorious, and the day after that, and the day after that, and maybe the day after that. <laughs> now my biggest piece of advice is if you really, really want to have volume, like let's say you have 10 hairs blowing in the wind and you want lots of volume, make sure you alternate the way that you're turning your curls. So if you want more volume, more bang for your buck, alternate your curls. Vertical sections every time, I find it's a lot easier to stay on track with where I am if I'm sticking with vertical sections. And last but not least, one of my biggest pieces of advice is if you want a tighter curl up at the top, start up higher on the head. Whereas if I want to have a looser wave and I want it to be not so voluminous through the top, I would hold my curl further down and start my curl down here. What happens when you have a bang and this it does this? All you do is simply take your bang, grab the wand, place the wand on top of the bang, and kind of seesaw it back and forth and it relaxes that wave. If you guys liked what you see, then make sure that you hit the subscribe button and definitely comment below because I love to hear feedback. I wanna know how I can help you better and how I can be better at doing these tutorials. All right guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy and I hope you try this out. Okay, now I'm ready to go. Oh. 